Hello everyone. In this particular video, we are going to learn about data standardization. So here you can see that I have just opened Kaggle API here, and here just uh, the data set in which we are going to perform uh, the data standardization is here. So let's just uh, get an overview of this particular data set here. So here you can see that uh, number of instances and number of attributes are here, and we have to do some kind of classification problem here. So we are just going to learn about data standardization using this particular data set. So let me just uh, show you how to download it. So here you can see that Parkinson data. So you have to just click this button, and your data set will easily get downloaded. First, you have to just register on yourself on this particular site. Then only you can uh, download this particular data set here. So here you can see that this is the particular data set on which we are going to perform. So here you can see that it is uh, some kind of frequencies which are given here, and it is a uh, uh, basically uh, Parkinson is a neurological disorder in our brain. So uh, and some kind of uh, frequencies are given here, and we will perform uh, some kind of classification problem on this particular data set. So uh, let's get started. So uh, as I have already uh, downloaded this particular data set, I will not download it again. So let me just open my spider. Using Anaconda Navigator. So here you can see that I have just opened my spider here. You can just use uh, Anaconda Nav Navigator easily. I will not uh, explain you how to use it and how to download it. You can just search it on your YouTube, and you can get uh, many videos on how to download and use spider. So let's get started. So from this particular button, you can just browse your particular directory on which you are want to perform your task. So here you can see that I have just browsed my particular file here, Parkinson.csv. So we will work on this particular file here. So let's get started. So let me just type the code. So first of all, we are importing the dependencies which are required here. So I am just importing the library. So I am just importing NumPy and Pandas here. and we need a standard scalar function uh, on that particular function only we will uh, just uh, do data standardization so let's just import that particular fun function here so from sklearn dot preprocessing import standard scalar function So let me just run this particular code here. So our code has successfully run. So let's move forward now. So I will just make a new particular variable here, data set, and I will load the pandas data frame into this particular variable. So let me just type the code. Pd dot read CSV. Now let's type the particular name of the file. Parkinson dot CSV. So let me just run this particular code also. So here you can see that our data frame is loaded here. So uh, now let's move forward. So let's see that uh, what kind of data set it is. So let's just use uh, the head function here. So head function will give us the first five rows and columns of this particular data set or data frame. You can say that uh, now the pandas data frame is created. So we should uh, just use the word data frame here. So let me just run this particular code also. So here you can see that our code has successfully run here, and here you can see that the first five rows uh, are appearing here. So let's move forward now. So what basically now we have to do? 
let's check uh, how many rows and uh, columns are actually present in this particular uh, data frame here so let me just type the code so we will use the shape function here so shape function is, uh, basically gives us the total number of rows and column so let me just run the code so here you can see that 195 rows and 24 columns here so now let's move forward so let me just open the data set here so here you can see that uh, the data set is open here and here you can see that uh, the first column is name and uh, there is another column here this is status column so this status column just contain 1 and 0 here you can see that 1 and 0 are here so basically what we are going to do we are going to drop these two particular columns here so uh, the name column is insignificant so we will not use that particular column and the status column basically gives us uh, whether the person has having this particular disease or whether the person is not having this particular disease so now let's uh, get back to the coding section here so let me just type the code here and then i will explain you so i am just dropping the particular uh, rows and columns which are not required here So we will use drop function here, columns, so the first column we will just uh, remove here will be name, so it is insignificant and the second column is the status column and now access is equal to because we are just removing columns here that's why we are using x is equal to 1 if we are just dropping uh, a particular row then we will just apply x is equal to 0 so keep this particular thing in mind so now I will just make another variable here y and I will uh, just put this particular uh, status column into this particular variable here so let me just type the code So let me just run this particular uh, code here. So here you can see that our code has successfully run. So let me just uh, show you how on our data set now looks like. So let me just print y and x here. So let's just uh, run this particular code also. So here you can see that our data set has just printed into two parts here. Here you can see that the X is printed here and uh, here you can see that only just one column in the Y variable here. So let's move forward now. So now we will do the data standardization. So let me just uh, make a comment here. So let, let, first let me just type the code and then I will explain you everything. So I am just making another variable here, scalar. So I will just call the standard scalar function which we have imported here. So let me just uh, run this particular code. So now let me just uh, uh, basically uh, why data standardization we are doing in this particular uh, uh, data set here. Basically let me just show you the data set again. So here you can see that our data set looks like this. So here you can see a triple digit uh, kind of digits are here. So uh, and if we move forward here are decimal values. So it's a very wide kind of range and we don't want uh, this kind of range here so uh, data standardization just convert this particular uh, uh, data set into a particular range only 
it will not be a very wide kind of range it will be a very uh, minimum uh, difference uh, you can say that uh, the values are will not have this kind of difference between them so let me just type the code here so now we will just fit this particular function here so scalar dot fit so we will fit the x data here so we have just splitted uh, our data into two parts x and y so we will just fit this particular x here in this particular uh, function so let me just run this particular code so uh, our code is successfully run so now we will just convert uh, or transform our particular uh, uh, data set here into uh, uh, a particular range only so let me just type the code so we will use transform function here so now let me just run this code also so our code has successfully run so let me just print uh, how this particular data set now looks like so i am just printing the x here again and i will just run this particular code also so here you can see that our particular data set now looks like this so here you can see that now the data has converted into a particular range uh, before it was a, a very wide kind of range there are there were very uh, uh, triple digits were there double digits were there and now you can see that there are only decimal values here so now our data set looks better and we can just make a different kind of models on this particular uh, data set easily so thanks for watching this video uh, we have just learned data standardization in this particular video thank you very much